welcome back to another video guys where I have been to yet another boot sale and got me some more cars so I think we shall start from the newer cars and we'll work through down to the old cars so I'll get this out of the way and we'll get, have a look one by one so to start us off we have let's just uh, get that out of the way to start us off we have a Bagani Huayra um, I didn't think I had one of these but no I don't there, I have a similar colour red one, but uh, it hasn't got the roof, whereas this one has. It looks a little bit worn, looks like some of the paint has come off the top there. It's a little bit dirty and dusty, but I think of a nice clean off, I think it will look pretty good. So yeah, it's quite nice, it's in, pr pr pretty, it's in pretty good condition. This one has the rear light details, the badging and the Bagani written there. Also has the front light details as well, so it's quite a nice one this. In pretty good condition, just needs a little bit of a clean up. There's a bit of a bit of dirt on it here and there. But yeah, nice way to start it off. Next up, we have another version of the off track. Just had to double check it was off track. Another one with a metal base, which is really nice. In a sort of off white colour, like a sort of really, really light grey. Looks pretty good. Nice sort of tribal plus styled flames on the side. Not really got a proper wheel on the back. It looks pretty good. This one's better because it's got the metal front and rear bars because of the metal base. I prefer them ones. Um, has it got lensed headlights? Yeah. It's got lensed headlights as well, which is nice. Again, this one could do a bit of a clean, maybe a little polish on the screen there, but it looks pretty good. I like that. I do like me off tracks. I like having a few of them. Next up, we have a really nice looking R34 Skyline. This looks really cool. Really nice in blue. It's a really nice metallic blue, actually. That's really, really nice. Nice red and silver stripe on the side. Actually, no, I think that's orange. Nice orange stripe on the side. Got some real light details on it with the badge. Got some nice gold wheels, too. Shame we didn't get any front lights, but that's because of the stripes. I thought that looked pretty cool. And in really, really good condition. Just once again, could probably do a little clean up. So, next up. We have a Ferrari, not sure of the date on this one, the Ferrari 250 LM, mm, not sure what age this is, quite like the wheels on it, these are quite nice wheels, a little bit, a little bit beat up this one, a lot of paint has been worn away on the edges, so it shows sign of some play, the 21 has worn away on both sides. But it's still pretty good on the hood there. A little bit of a crack on the screen as well. So not the best condition, but hey, it's pretty good. Quite a nice looking one. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, these cars were 20p each as well. So it's really not bad, you know. I think all of these are 20p each. And last of the 20p cars. Again, we've got some more. Maybe I shouldn't touch that. <laughs> So it looks a bit like old blue tack. Another old Ferrari. Ferrari 512M. And this one's pretty cool because we've got the lift up back there. Again, it's a bit dirty. A little bit loose, but it seems pretty good. Got the engine in there. Wheels are pretty good. Which is a really nice feature. That's really, really cool. Looks really, really nice in the orange with the black wheels of the chrome on. The tampo seemed pretty good. It's not too worn either. It's actually in pretty good condition. A little bit of paint on the edges um, is missing, but I reckon with a bit of a clean up, it'll look really good. And of course, we've got the Ferrari badge and some lovely headlights. Really, really cool that. And of course, it has the opening feature, which is so, so awesome. So. That's the last of the 20p cars, so let's move on to the 
50p cars, which are also older. So, let's start things off with this. What is this? Hot Wheels up front, 924. Is this meant to be like a, a version of the Porsche 924? It is a Porsche, isn't it? I don't know. Up front. Don't know what that is. But it's got normal Hot Wheels. I mean, the only way I see Hot Wheels cars that are older is just by looking at that. If it's got the old Hot Wheels logo. <laughs> probably not the best way to go about it. I should probably really do some heavy research into older Hot Wheels cars. Because, um, yeah, I need to know, really. Because now I'm going out and buying older stuff. I need to know what I'm looking for. At the moment, I'm just buying things that look old, in case they might be cool. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Porsche badge on the front saying 924 with the stripes. That looks really cool. A little bit grubby. Could do with a proper clean, this one. I'll have to get, I'll have to get the cleaning gear out in a minute. Looks like the screen has seen better days. Might need a bit of a polish out. Looks like there's meant to be something here, possibly. I'm not sure, it's just got four squares in the back there. And the wheels are quite nice and they all seem they all feel pretty good, which is really nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Next up we have a Lotus. Royal Flash, but it says Lotus. Are these part of something that I don't know? Because they're called something else, but this says Lotus and this one has the Porsche badge on it. Oh I don't know. United Kingdom flag, some stripes on there, which is quite nice. Again, in white, needs a bit of a clean. This one's got beige interior. Mmm, beige. Metal base. Yeah, Hot Wheels Royal Flash. France. I think this one was France as well. Yes. Quite nice. The wheels are a little bit not great at the back. It's sort of a bit sticky. The front one's alright though. I like, I'm liking the uh, beige bumpers. <laughs> They've obviously linked the bumpers to the uh, interior there, which is quite cool. Not much detail for the headlights, really. Or really much for the rear lights, but hey, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm confused about the names, though. Royal Flash. Don't know. Next up, another Hot Wheels car. This one is the Mercedes 540k, again made in France. This one's pretty nice. Pretty much all of it is solid die cast except for the roof. Pretty nice looking. I mean, I'm not. I'm going to put it out there. I'm not like a. I'm not a fan of the old cars like this. I'm more of a. I'd prefer like. 70s to 90s cars. These are a little bit too old for my liking, but this is pretty cool. Nonetheless, the old big arches on there, which is really cool, the beige roof. Not too beaten up. It's actually in really good nick. That's the thing, a lot of these older cars are actually in re really good condition. Compared to what I've bought recently, these are really good condition. The wheels are all good on this one. They're all straight. They roll really nicely. He says it not rolling very nicely, but they feel quite nice. Old style looking wheels. Yeah, that's pretty nice, that. I like the exhaust, the kind of, are they exhaust? Whatever they are, I think they're pretty cool. They are exhaust, aren't they? Where they come out and then they go down to the back? Don't know. But I quite like the uh, bumpers, that looks cool. It looks good at the back. That's quite nice. So, next up, have a guess what this car is. Well, actually, anyone with a keen eye will probably know straight away, just from the wheels. <laughs> I couldn't believe this when I saw it. I thought, oh, that's got to be like a Matchbox or some other cheap, like, brand or, like, Corgi or, you know. No, it's a Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels Renault Lee car. It's Renault 5, isn't it? No. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. But look at this. This is so weird. It's like, it doesn't. It is die cast, but it feels really cheap. It does not feel like a Hot Wheels car. I couldn't believe it was a Hot Wheels car, really. Rolls alright. So, we've got a nice uh, um, 
well, I say nice, not very nice green colour. Little Renault 5. I like the black bumpers. It's actually quite, probably quite like one of the real, real cars. Shame on the plastic base. It's really, it feels really cheap. It doesn't make it feel cheap. Again, got the old style wheels and pretty good nick. And beige interior. Whoa. Getting pretty close to my car here. Beige and green. Hmm. I think that's pretty cool, that. I'm just so shocked that was a Hot Wheels car. Just looks so un Hot Wheels, if that's even a word. Moving on, we have a very nice looking BMW. Is it the M1 or something? The BMW M-1 or M1 from Hot Wheels. Very nice. I like the fact it's got the painted underside which is also metal, so it's full metal, which is really, really nice. This is really nice. I like this one. Got the really nice stripes on the top there, saying so BMW on the front. Pretty good detail on the front there. Not so much around the lights. No light tempos or anything. We've got the black lovers on the back, which looks really nice. And all the wheels are in really good nick, which is really awesome. She's saying that that one's a little bit stiff, but... Actually, the more I move it, the better it gets. So maybe something in it. Maybe a clean, little clean up will help. That's really nice. And I just love how solid it is because it's full metal. It's just so, so nice. That's really cool. Black interior on this one. Even got the detail for a mirror in there. Huh. That's pretty cool. And it looks like it's got a pretty decent interior as well. Seats and the steering wheel. That's really nice, that. I really like this one. So, the final two. The next up we have Vega Bomb, which probably isn't the name of the car. Good year. Yeah, this looks like a fancy car. Some sort of funny drag car thing. Hot Wheels. Made in France, USA foreign pat pend. Is this one of those ones that it is? Oh, it's so stiff though. Yes. Oh wow, look at that. It's a funny car. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I didn't know it did that. It's very stiff. I've loosened it now. It's doing it all the time. That's awesome. So it's obviously some sort of fantasy funny car. Was it a real car? That looks a lot like a... I was going to say Pontiac, but maybe not. I don't know. That's really cool looking. I like the spoiler on that. Got some interesting brand deals. Little engine. Barely sticking out the front there. It's a little bit to the side, but I mean, that's probably been like that since new. Not too bad for wear. Looks like the paint wasn't very good there. But it doesn't look like it's been worn. It just looks like it hasn't had a decent paint job. A little bit of wear on the front on there. And a bit on the spoilers on the back. Which is kind of expected really for its age. The wheels are all really good. But yeah, it looks really, really nice. And of course it does that. I didn't even know it did that. How cool is that? Oh, proper funny car. Nice. Nice little cage in there, we've got the engine, all die cast. That's cool. Nice surprise that, that's really cool. And lastly, the final Hot Wheels car. The Hot Wheels Mirada Stocker. This looks really nice, I think this is cool. Just a very nice boxy car, the wheels seem pretty good on it. I quite like the detail on the wheels, I think the rims are pretty cool, in gold. Nice basic looking red car, can't really say much about it, but it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty cool anyway. We've got the rear lights, which kind of merge into the rear bumper, and a part of the base. But it gives some effect, it's pretty cool. And all in all, it's in outstanding condition, I can't even, I'm trying to find any paint, like proper paint wear, but I can't. It's in really, really good condition. 
Looks a little bit weird up there, but that's probably just a defect. That's really nice, that. France. Yeah, that's really cool. Just, It's just nice. So basic, I don't know what to say about it, but I really, really like it. And this was the reason I went back. Actually, a lot of these cars, I went around, looked at them, didn't find anything. It wasn't until I went back for a couple, I thought, and I looked a bit hard and went, ah, actually, these are quite nice. And I went back for this one, and I think <laughs> all of these were on the same stand, and I think there was, like, one other that, I, that was, like, a different brand that I didn't buy. So I ended up buying like the entirety of one stand that was there, on that stand anyway, which is really cool, thanks to this one. So I actually made some pretty good finds. I mean, these, by far, I think are some absolutely amazing finds. All in red. Same colour red as well. Don't get me wrong, the rest of the cars are really awesome. These are pretty cool. And of course we've got some old Ferraris and some pretty cool main lines thrown in there as well. How epic. So once again I think that was a pretty successful haul from uh, from another boot fair. To be fair, <laughs> boot fair, to be fair, <laughs> I'm not funny. But anyway, to be uh, fair, yeah, I think I did peak a bit too early finding the Super Treasure Hunt. However, I've done pretty well again, I, I think. In my opinion, I think I've done pretty well. So I suppose that's what counts, really, because it is my collection after all. But hey, don't be afraid to let me know what you think of this haul down below in the comments. I'd love to read them. Let me know if you think I've actually found anything good. And let me know what are your favourites. Please be sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed. And be sure to subscribe as I release content like this very often. So, as always, I'll see you next time.